reason why I'm into cars is from my dad. I love driving on the street and being like, what's that car? What year is that car? What's that do? And he can just like name everything about it. He just knows everything. He was like, never like the sporty dad. He was like the car dad. I have always loved E30s. I can't even remember the exact point where like I would have seen one for the first time. I think it would have been something to do with my oldest brother, Zach. Probably him showing me a photo or something and then my dad also like loving them. I just love the shape of them. I love the boxiness and to me it's just such a perfect car. Like everything about it, it just really like, it's such a good car. <laughs> So my first car was a red 318, stick shift as well, because in Australia, it's two separate licenses, automatic and manual. And in my family, you will be absolutely shunned if you don't get a manual license. Two of my brothers, older brothers, they really wanted this car for their first car. But my dad was like, no, you need a reliable car. I'm not gonna let you get that, yada, yada, yada. It came to me and I'm like, dad, I love these cars so much. Like I just want one so bad. I want that to be my first car. And I think by the time it got to the youngest, even though I'm the only daughter, he kind of eased off a little bit. And then I came home one day, he handed me these keys and I was like, no way and I came down into the garage and he was like I, I had to save it for you because it was just it's perfect and I love it and it was just my dream car sitting there right in front of me what's the car's name what did, oh jet jet I've been calling it that in a while but that was yeah jet was it a boy or a girl Definitely a boy, for sure. It's got boy energy. I've lived in New York coming up on eight years. I moved here a week after I turned 18. It was honestly just a crazy adventure, something that I had always dreamed of. I had been wanting to buy an E30 to have in New York for so long, but it kind of felt really unnecessary. I was like, you know what? I want to get an E30. I love that car so much back home. Like, I want one here. I don't care, I want to drive it because I just love to drive it. I found this car on Facebook Marketplace. I was looking for a dining table and then this one came up and I found it on like a Thursday afternoon and by Monday, the title was handed over to me. I spent the weekend driving it, getting used to stick shift again. The moment that I drove off, I remember just like blasting music and driving and I was so happy because it just felt like such an achievement. This car came to me at a point in my life where I have nothing holding me back and it was just something that I was like, you know what, I really want to do this for me. Like I deserve this and it's a dream come true and it just like, it made me so happy to feel like independent again and everything. <laughs> Beach trip. I love driving this car and the way that I enjoy it is by cruising top down, singing along to music. I love when I get to run into people on the street and stuff like that and it's just such an exciting feeling. It makes people smile, it makes me smile. Cars are like an extension of someone's personality. A car can sum somebody up. This car, people are always like, oh, it's such a you car. I can't imagine you driving anything else. And I'm like, yeah, like a car like this was built to be enjoyed and to be driven and experience everything that comes with it and all the attention that it gets. And for me, like life is about having fun. It's about enjoying moments and just being fully present in the moment. And I think that this is such a car for that. Like it's just a perfect example of that.